trying to get this spindle repair project done for a bit of time now and keep bumping into roadblocks. Uh, initially I struggled working with the deck on the tractor. Get our blade off of there. Replace this guy once we're ready. to work to swap out the blade on the other pulley. The other pulley on the bottom, the star part here. So, ordered another spindle. So we're going to start over here. Take this guard off. I'm going to take this pulley off. Hopefully, this pulley is okay. Oh. Well, that pulley's going to have to do. After I discovered that the second pulley on the mower deck was shot, I ordered up another pulley from Amazon Warehouse. The first one I got was good, as you can see. You know what this one is? Junk. So it's going back and Amazon said there's another one on the way. The deck on this side, probably can't see it from that viewpoint, is a little buttered up. And hopefully, by slowly tightening down the bolts, we can draw everything back into position and cut evenly. You notice the old spindles don't have zerks on them. The new spindles do. With any luck, I'm going to find a very nice video here on YouTube where a gentleman explains and tears down one of these spindles and shows that. These are indeed sealed bearings, and the grease, if you jam it inside here without some modification, not going to do you much good. To this side, we'll take the old. two spindles, two pulleys, blades, and a belt. If your deck is along to the point where you've broken one of these, 
maybe the kit isn't such a bad idea. Because that pulley should really be replaced too, but... shielding back on this side. I'm going to leave it off on this side so when we go underneath that's the point where I'll thread the belt, thread the belt up in front, and uh, do all that joyful noise. Alrighty, so now we're underneath the deck. It's always a little bit of cardboard is always very handy. And it's summertime, so I usually run mulching blades. Get them nice and snug. I'll go back to the shed out back and get the mower and we'll put the deck back on because there is grass to mow. Here we are with operation. So whip it in from the side. <laughs> Now we're putting the deck back on. We start trailing rod sort of thing. It goes in this hole right there. this center point back in place. There we go. Now we just got to get the belt back where it belongs. So we'll start See, this is the pulley right there. With any luck, I can give you guys a good illustration of getting this belt back where it belongs. Main power comes from the motor up here. Got an idler pulley there. This is the spring tensioner pulley. crossed and around and all that business. I'm going to pull it back towards the front of the mower and then try and work this on the blade spindle pulley. And viola power from up front here. The electric clutch is up here. Pulley, spring-loaded pulley. That tensions are belt idler there that sends the belt around over to the other side. Let's get these two covers back on 
and then we got a mow. With any luck, this is the right vantage point where we've got our cover, kind of protects the belt and catches a lot of shit that you're gonna blow out. Waiting for an opportunity is this job that I got clearance. Blade guard. Yeah, this is probably not going to be able to see very well because it's kind of a ring anglement here. The shoulder part comes up from the bottom, and there's a square hole that sits up in. And you zip your lock on the nut, then and on top of that. custom bungee knotted to give it the correct length to hold this in a place where it isn't flopping about when it does not need to be.